Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 5 version for your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. And I'll be using the iPod Touch for this demonstration. And this is a tethered jailbreak, which means if you turn off your device or like it runs out of battery, then you will have to re jailbreak it or else it won't work. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is download the two links in the description below which is Red Snow and the firmware for your device which is 5.0 and you want to open up Red Snow and you want to click jailbreak and be sure to make your device to power off your device you want to completely power off your device by just sliding the power off and give it a few seconds to turn off alright and then when it turns off what you want to do is head on to DFU mode and if you click next it will give you the directions on how to get there and basically what you do is you hold the power button for three seconds and then after that you hold the home button with the power button for ten seconds and then you release the power button and stay holding on the home button for fifteen more seconds and we'll go to DFU mode <coughs> alright so you want to click next and you want to get ready so you click next you directly hold the power button and basically you just want to follow the directions on the screen so right now I'm holding the power and the home button alright then you want to release that alright so when, once you hear that noise and it changes to the next step you will know that you are in DFU mode and if it doesn't work, what you want to do is power your our uh, your device back on and then re retry or try again, and it'll turn into this white screen, which is normal, so don't freak out. <laughs> All right, and you just want to wait. This will take a little time, like a couple minutes. And actually, the jail, the tether jailbreak came really quick compared to all the other ones. And they should make an untethered version for all devices soon. Alright, so it is patching kernel. And it should be done in a couple seconds. Alright, so the next step is you want to click install Cydia or and you can also enable battery percentage which is basically what you just want and you click next and it will say processing so you have to wait a little while again but it is completely worth it And I'll say downloading jailbreak data. Alright, so it's almost done with this. Shouldn't take a long time. Alright, so it is done and then codes will like come up. And this is normal, so don't worry about it. And it will power back on in a, in a little bit. So please wait.
Alright, so now it goes to the pineapple and it says like moving applications. And this also shouldn't take that long, just a couple minutes or seconds. Like moving applications goes slow. But then after that everything goes really fast. That's one better. Alright, so now it's going to power up again, so you just wait to for it to turn on. So you're going to wait a couple minutes again, or seconds. Alright, so powered on. And when you go, you'll see Cydia, but it is white. And when you click on it, it won't work, and neither will Safari. It will crash. So now what you want to do is you want to exit out of Red Snow, and you want to reopen it. And you want to click Extras. And what you want to do is click Select IPSW, and the firmware that you download, you want to click on that. And it'll say the following build was identified. And then you want to click just boot tethered right now. And again, you want to turn it into DFU mode. So you want to power off your iPod or whatever you're using. So you're going to wait a little for it to turn off. And then we're going to have to re put it in DFU mode again. Alright, so you want to put it in DFU mode again. So when you click next, you have to be prepared. So. You want to hold the power button for three seconds, and then you want to hold the home button for with the power button for ten seconds, and it's just simple. Just follow the instructions, and then you want to release the power button and hold the home button until it connects. All right, so it is in DFU mode again, and all you have to do is wait. And I'll just do it for you. So it is exploiting and nothing should be happening on your screen and now it's just black. And this one's a lot faster process than the other one. So it shouldn't take that long. Alright, uploading second stage, waiting for reboot. Alright, so it is done, and now you can see the Apple logo has changed to a pineapple because your iPod has officially been jailbroken. And it will turn on, and Cydia will be working in Soul Safari, and you will be able to do whatever you want. But remember, you can't turn off your device or just try not to let it run out of battery. And you'll be fine for as long as they need to create the untethered version of this jailbreak. Oh. Turned on. 
and and as you can see city as city does work all right and so does safari one second and safari works as you can see it does not crash and that is it guys thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video